Well, new studies show that Holloman Lake, which is less than 10 miles west of Alamogordo, is the most contaminated ecosystem in the world when it comes to PFAS chemicals. It's a dire situation that has few good solutions, but it may also give scientists a unique opportunity to help prevent these ecological disasters in the future. The bad part about PFAS are that the, the, they are known carcinogens at this point. They're, they can cause cancer, they can cause reproductive health issues in both men and women. And by just simply being there and eating the insects and the grasses and being around that water, they're, they're picking up these PFAS levels. Holloman Lake has been contaminated with these dangerous chemicals through decades of waste dumping by the U.S. Department of Defense. And now researchers are detecting record-breaking levels in nearby wildlife. The levels of contamination that we found in some of the wildlife are 30 million times greater than that MCL, that maximum contamination, contaminant level. Professor Jean-Luc Cartron with UNM says that cleaning up a contaminated space like this would be a monumentally expensive project and is something that hasn't been attempted at this scale. Possibly, you know, one of the things that's possible is to cover the contaminated soils with fresh, uncontaminated soils and, and replant the, the vegetation and then monitor everything extensively. And that's just the beginning. Contamination underground, which is something that we can't forget. What would be involved is, is treatment of the, of the groundwater um, pulling the, the groundwater through an air stripper and then use technology to get rid of the PFAS, re-inject the groundwater upgrading somewhere. But this dangerous situation does offer some unique opportunities. With such high levels of PFAS, it could serve as a sort of natural laboratory. So you've got the massive contamination that allows you to track a lot of PFAS molecules as they move around as opposed to being detected in one spot but not in another spot, or a PFAS molecule moves, say, from water to soil or from soil to, to plants. So we can track everything because con the, the concentrations are so high. We can learn a lot by studying Holloman Lake. Professor Cartron hopes that scientists and state leaders can take these lessons learned and be more proactive with preventing it from happening again. He recommends officials start a biomonitoring program to search for more sources of PFAS contamination and stop them before they get to these dangerous levels.